let's face it, none of us want to be sick as it is, let alone having problems when we go to the toilet. So please do not skip this section because again, if you've got chronic illness, which means that I don't know anyone that's got a chronic illness that doesn't struggle with fatigue levels, that doesn't struggle with their energy. So that means that the way you go to the toilet is impacted in your daily life. So for everyone I've helped with, it is, yes, it does impact them. And we're on page 22, we're halfway there, okay? I'm sticking with fatigue here. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really blunt with you, okay? And I assure you that there are millions of us in this situation. We just don't talk about it, which I think is wrong, and I'm going to be doing other vlogs on this. I get it where if I have, or if, when I have a bowel movement, I can't clean myself properly. I'm too tired. Um, and how much that is, how little I can clean myself, is, because don't you get it, like sometimes, you like, you wipe and there's not much like feces there. There's there's not much there. And you're like, a couple of wipes and you're done. And then other times you're wiping and you're wiping and you're thinking, what, I don't understand what's happening. Like, you know, like 10 wipes later, you're still wiping. What, what the f is going on? Um, so obviously it's diet based, um, which again links to our health, doesn't it? Because if you haven't got the energy, then you're eating stuff that isn't good for you. There's a lot of times where I will have a bowel movement, I will try to clean myself. Um, the worst that I hate is when I'm so ill that I have a bowel movement, I have the energy, I've got to the toilet, I've had a bowel movement, I've tried to clean myself, it's not enough. But I have to go back to bed and lie down and rest before I can carry on. For those of you that are in this category, we, oh my God, we're warriors. It's embarrassing. It's shit, literally. Like, you just want to be able to clean yourself and you can't because you're so exhausted. So then you, I get back up and I go back and I try and clean myself. And But then I, I don't want to keep saying pants on because I've had to go to bed because I haven't been able to finish cleaning myself. I want to be clean. But then that means now not only have I got to like, clean myself because I've had to go to bed, I've got to change my pyjama bottoms or my whatever shorts I'm wearing and that takes more energy um if I'm able to have a bath oh my god it's amazing if I'm in this situation it's it's amazing like if I don't feel that I'm clean enough or do you do this right where you have a bowel movement and you wipe and then you're like oh, it's going to be one of those where you're wiping and wiping and wiping and I'm like no no I'm just going to get in the bath I'm just going to get in the bath and then you know that you're clean. Like, but you have to have a lot of energy to be able to do that, okay? So that, have a think about this and be really honest with yourself on is, is this your situation? So I have like four categories for this. One, I could wipe and clean myself. Two, I wipe, but it's not fully clean, so I'll have a wash at the sink. Three, I will wipe it doesn't really work, I will get into the bath and clean myself. Four, I will wipe and I'm really ill and I can't finish cleaning myself, I will go to bed, I will rest, I will get back up later on, wipe again, and then I could go with like one of these options where um, I might have a wash. We are not alone. It's shit. That's the word that suits this category, doesn't it? So, ooh, let's talk about incontinence. Now, Whenever I ask people this, no, no, I've, no, I'm not incontinent. And then I warm them up and we bond. And then it's generally by the time we've done meeting two, meeting three, um, that they'll go, you know, with going to the toilet. Yep. I always tell people as well about me being incontinent. I hope that by me going through that with you, you can be more open-minded about your stuff, especially the washing, okay? Now, if when you go to the toilet, you are holding on to something, sometimes to lift yourself up, like a radiator, a shelf, a sink, you don't get a zero, okay? So I and this lady uh, use uh, 
shelf to lift up, right? Oh, and don't forget, she has IBS. For those of you out there with IBS, oh, mate, like, what you go through is tough. So I'm going to start with uses the aid. Um, I can't remember if she uses a shelf or a radiator. So I'm going to leave that blank and put one of me um, sticker things on. So straight away it's two points. And I'm also going to put in here about the uh, sanitary towels, okay, um, to manage incontinence, right? So I don't care what terminology, like, right. So if you sometimes use a sanitary towel, um, like if you're going out and you think, oh, I'll put one in just in case, you get points on this. You get points on this. This is the only time in your life where this is a good thing. If you use a sanitary towel, like, because you get a bit nervous, that's great. Write it down. Put it in. It's the only time where I'm like, when I'm talking to people and when they open up about their, you know, issues cleaning themselves with bowel movements, I'm like, well done. That's brilliant. And you see them go, what? And I'm like, you'll get a point for that. You get points. Um, so... Again, it's shit, but I'm like, it's the one time where I'll give people a high five and I'll be like, well, not, you know, like an arthritic high five or an arthritic fist bump where I'll be like, welcome to the club. Um, right. So here, um, I have difficulty cleaning myself. Um, that's another thing with cleaning yourself, right? If you've got arthritis in your shoulders, you try like putting your arm back there. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. See, well, I've done this loads of times, and this does, it takes time to do this, right? And without this, I would never have won my pip or anyone else's. Again, I am fucking raging at the lack of support there is in the, it, it, to, to go through the pip claim. I've met people that at hospital, and I'm like, do you get pip? And they're like, no. And I'm like, and I'm looking at them. They can't walk. Like, they're exhausted. One of their arms doesn't work. And I'm like... This was this a lad, a young lad, and I was like, I can tell by looking at you, you should be getting full pip. Like, I was like, no, dis no disrespect, but you should be getting full pip. And he's like, well, I did, I did claim. I said, right. And he went, they told me I was fine. And I was like, look, I explained to him, that's how pip works. Like, literally, you could have no legs and no prosthetics and say, I can't walk. And they would go, oh, yeah, yeah he's fine. It's how it works because of the budget. The reason this is so long is they do need to know the information, but I genuinely believe they don't want people, you know, they want to fob people off. Everyone I've helped with PIP, they wouldn't have done it if I hadn't have encouraged them, done the form, prepped for the assessment, and been with them during the assessment, which is what I would do for this lady. Um, and there just isn't the support out there. It's just not out there. So, but again, you are entitled to it. So stick with this. I'm really gonna try and track the comments on this so that I can help help you, all right? That's why we need our community. We're like battle buddies. Oh, vlog to battle buddies, all right? So now you can see here that in the scoring system, it doesn't say if you're unable to clean yourself, but you manage it, you get points. But in the example questions, it says, I always have difficulty cleaning myself my care worker assists me. For those of us that struggle to clean ourselves after a bowel movement, we should to make our lives easier and if we weren't so proud and embarrassed, because I'm not fucking having this. Instead of having to go back to bed unclean, I should have help. I should have someone help me clean myself, but I am not going to. And I'm sure there is a lot of you that is like, Charlie, I would rather have to wait and go back and clean myself than have to have someone wipe my ass. I get it. But again, you've got to imagine this pip thing is supposed to be, what do you need in order to live your life as you should? The bit here that says um, needs assistance, this is where we get ticks here, these two, right? On that we're having to, we're struggling to clean ourselves, okay? So I'm gonna word it. So. This is how I've worded this section, okay? Um, so just state it that you experience issues, okay? With incontinence. Um, and how often? Is it weekly? Is it uh, monthly? Like, if it's weekly, I'll try and say every couple of days, or it happens like twice a week, yeah? 
Um, so I've put in, and this is exactly the issue that I have, and lots of us have, right? So I struggle to clean myself after a bowel movement. If I have the energy, I will shower uh, to fully clean myself. If I'm having a bad day and going to the toilet multiple times, and I'm gonna put in how often that is weekly, I'll put another thing in. I just do not have the energy to shower as well. I will rest and then go back to the toilet and clean myself some more. I hope that word in helps some of you. And again, don't be ashamed, there's loads of us in this situation.